Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! <laughs> Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Who? Absorbent and yellow and porous is he! Who? If not a nonsense, Spence? Be you wish. Yeah, this will get claimed by Nickelodeon, I'm sure. Hi, everyone. Welcome to early stream. Why is the volume so damn low? This is the max volume for Battle for Bikini Bottom hy Hydrated, Rehydrated. Um, hi, welcome to the stream. I'm doing an early stream because it's, it's beautiful out today. And I'm going to, um, relax and enjoy the night. But also... My stomach has been doing flips all day. So I'm going to try to stream this. Um, and, you know, if I need to take an emergency fuck off for a little while, I might do that. But we will see. I don't know how to make this game louder. Um, but anyway, 2 out of 10, SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going to check it out. I've never played this. I got a key for it. And people really, really wanted me to play this game, and I said, fuck it, why not? So this is the, the Steam Welcome version. Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today, it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today's the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one. Like, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel genius. about this. Answer yes. Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch. <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on. I want to get a photo for my scrap. Oh. Hey, hello. What do you think you're doing? How do I want to feel? Oh, like no, Sponge. No, no, wait. Wait. But I'm your master! I made you! No! No! Oh, my good China! Well, now the volume Another is loud. Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. Wow, SpongeBob. <laughs> it's not just wow. any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. And we say the magic wishing words. SpongeBob is too yellow. <laughs> He's way too yellow. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Schnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? I don't think I'm the target sure. audience for this game. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs! Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the Patrick. best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning. Morning. Later. 
gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots. So is SpongeBob like eternally five years old that has like a real uh, job? Gary, did you do that? Meow. Oh, okay. He he is? Alright. Yeah, cool. Gary. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. He's in his twenties. I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to okay. fix this mess. That, yep, Gary is a, uh, yep. What a fantastic idea. Um, how do I read the signs? Meow. So wait, you're telling me that SpongeBob is like in his 20s and plays with toys. So that would be the equivalent of someone like in their mid 30s making like weird noises on a stream and playing video games. Babby Nintendo games and Babby SpongeBob. Squarepants rehydrated games on the internet for the amusement of many people as they as they say mean things to me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like Press the SpongeBob this guy. I think he's pretty cool. <laughs> so if I want to come back and talk. All right, we get to see the inside of Sponge's house now. Yeah, I don't. I have had very little experience with SpongeBob, as many of you know. Um, this will be a one stream. I'm not doing more than one. Sorry. But it looks I nice. Myself a snack, but there's no time. This game has a lot of nostalgia. Take it. And apparently it's it's a pretty good game that has a lot of like nostalgia around it, which is why it people wanted it. It's not like Mario Sunshine levels of platformer, but it's a good one. It's a good licensed platformer with Sponge. That's my understanding of what this game is. Uh, that said, most of my Sponge experience, as I've said the past couple days, is from shitty Android Game Showcase, where Spongebob has to jump. I and, like, Spider Sponge. Snack, but there's no time! How many times are we I gonna make myself a snack, but there's no time! I make myself <laughs> a snack. Uh, okay. So, so yeah, it's your basic platformer. I want to see how well I'm doing. It's good. I'm doing doing great. I like this guy, this sponge guy. He's uh, you know. I make myself a snack, but golden spatulas are needed to unlock new areas. Okay, good controls so far. It's just got very. Optimal platformer controls, not poop. Breaking news! Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked fish. by a raging torrent of robot horror! So much for fixing this quietly. <laughs> Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble! Spangle boob. Babberdink. Uh-oh. Did I say big trouble? I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble. We'll keep you posted as this tragic story unfolds. Tragically, we're sure. Spongin. Bung. Humperdink. I, I want to go in, but there's no time. There's no time. There's no time. There's no time. Um, how do I get to Sponge's attic? I want to see what's in there. You know, weirdly enough, I know the layout of Mr. Krabs's um, Crab Shack. Wait, what's it called? Because I played TTT, there was a map for Gary's mod. The Tendor. Uh-oh. We got to get more stuff and then go back in, I think. The Krusty Krab, it's called, right? Yes, I knew that. Ah, I knew that. There's nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Man, Tom Kenny's got some pretty cool job security, huh? come from What happened? Where my controller stopped working? Wow. 
anywhere. Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. Yeah. They even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. Vinny, can you turn down the saturation? Yeah, we can do that. I feel like there was a, a trend in 2008 where the saturation was down on, like, everything. So we can we can get it there. We'll just... We'll, we'll, like, do Call of Duty mode. There we go. See, now we're good. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bend all my forks? We just need a vignette around... Not the forks! Oh, of wait, there already is I'll one. Help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole... Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you could... If you could what? Your dreams. If you could your you dreams? Did you ever have a dreams where you... That you could... Hey, What's going Bob? on with the stuttering? I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. Bubble buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. But uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that it... That is what? I have to reset the game already. Oh god, is there a way to save? I think I alt tabbed out, and now it's all crusty and chugging. Finny, you missed the save button. Oh. Alright, cool. Are you ready, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Well, it's chugging less. I don't know if it's just windowed mode or what, or it's me streaming it, but I, I definitely notice some lack of smoothness. Uh, it's all right. I just wanted to make sure everything looked as good as possible. That's all. It, it is a colorful game. I mean, it definitely looks like the show, the few episodes of the show I've seen. Other streamers have also mentioned in-game crust. Oh. No, I was more Ren and Stimpy, so my, you know, my cartoons were, like, um, I've talked about this plenty, but Ren and Stimpy was my favorite, uh, Doug, Rugrats, Sponge, I could have watched, but for some reason I just didn't. It was, like, slightly when, you know, you hit that, like, rebellious age of 14, you're like, cartoons suck, dude, even though they don't. This is where I keep all my old comic books. But yeah, Ren and Stimpy is a direct, like, through line to Spongebob. They're very similar, especially the, the crusty still frames. And what else did I watch? Like, Cow and Chicken, Dexter's Laboratory, um, Hey Dude, which was not a cartoon. Hey Arnold. Fucking, uh, God, Clarissa Explains It All, also not a cartoon. Rocco, yeah, Ro Rocco. I was just old enough when Rocco showed up to understand that they made a phone sex joke in the first episode. So, like, it, that was not lost on me, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, memory not good, as many of you know, but I'm pretty sure I caught that joke. And I was like, ha ha ha, sex joke. Tom Kenny played Heifer? Cool. Out baby, out baby. What other Nickelodeon shows? Well, there's Nickelodeon, but there was also, um... 
What was the Cartoon Network shows? I, I watched like, you know, Captain Planet. Stuff like that. That wasn't Cartoon Network, was it? Pete and Pete was one of my favorites. That was also not a cartoon. Johnny Bravo, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. There you go. Courage the Cowardly Dog. A little bit of Powerpuff Girls. No Disney. I did not watch the Disney stuff. What about Goof Troop? Oh, Animaniacs is another one. Um, and also, um... Uh, Tiny Toons. I was really big Looney, Lo Looney Tunes, and their Tiny Toons was good. I liked both of those. This is where I keep all my old comic books. Oh, there we go. Did you watch Cyber Grannies? That's why they call them Cyber Grannies. No, I didn't watch that one. Okay, we did that sign. Press Y and do bubble bash attack, right? Okay. Yeah, I'm just... Yeah, I got it. Alright, I was too busy thinking about old cartoons. I got it now. Gargoyles I watched. That had a lot of Star Trek cast members. Brent Spiner, Jonathan Frakes. Marina Sirtis. Um, I think Michael Dorn did a gargoyle voice. I didn't really know who they were at the time, but later on in life I thought that was pretty cool. I'll just wait here. Yeah, it's- this is alright. I mean, the platforming stuff is fine. I mean, listen, if you have a game that's based around a license, it's usually a cause for fear. So, if you have a Spongebob game that actually is good, I can see why it's remembered fondly. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. But yeah, everyone really wanted me to play this, and uh, I guess you kind of get to a point where it's either too many people that it gets annoying, or not enough people where I don't notice it, or right in the middle, like the sweet spot, where people are actually really chill and nice about it. That's this. Like, people mentioned it, but it wasn't annoying, and then, like, they were like, hey, do you want a key for this Spongebob game? I was like, do I want a key for a Spongebob game? I don't really know Spongebob. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. How's Xenoblade? Uh, I played it yesterday. I'm up to the swamp, a little past that. But I, I don't want to give specifics away, but I've been slacking. I haven't really been playing it... ...like every day, by any means. I kind of just wanted to play it when I felt like it, and, uh, I'm getting into it. I'm really feeling it, but I just... ...haven't found the time. I've been so busy with music. There's that crust again. I don't know if you can see, like, how it just chugs along. Lose the shorts. No, 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 no. Opinions on the swamp at night? It's beautiful. Holy fuck, that hand. See if this fixes any of the hitching. Yeah, it does actually. Getting it out of windowed mode helps. Is it? Um, are you getting a full 60 frames, chat? Because my preview on XSplit looks a little shit. You are. It looks nice. Okay. I guess we have to talk to Patrick, huh? Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. 
Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Oh, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. <laughs> nice camera angle. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. Another find for Patrick. Patrick, why are these socks crusty? Uh, that's where I store my marmalade. Don't put it past Patrick. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. To store marmalade. Push, 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 push. I love opening presents. I don't know a lot about SpongeBob, but I know that Patrick is the the marmalade storing type. Vinny, this is our childhood. Man, have you now seen some of the terrible Mario games underwear. I've played? I've played a like lot a of games on Sunday stream that ruined my childhood memories of certain properties. Mario. Um, Spider-Man. Okay, I didn't really have a big Spider-Man, you know, thing. But regardless, that's the, the point, is you get older, and then people make disgusting things that ruin your childhood things. Like Disney with Star Wars. SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. Wait, who is this Mr. Krabs? <laughs> no more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. This is Jape Krabs. It's his brother. His first name is Jape. That's not Clancy Brown. Hey, Clancy Brown was in Star Wars. Imitation crab. Ah, that's good. That's good. Does anyone want to stomp around on my train set like Godzilla? I've got plenty of imitation crab meat in the fridge. You can have all of it. Try sneaking up on them. Ah, the rolling green hills of jellyfish fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Scrabble roll! Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! Do you wear wigs, Mr. Squidward? I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j -j Jellyfish! Well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish what the jelly fuck? for you to rub all over yourself! Yo, what? 
Why is SpongeBob so talented? It shines. It, it is a nice looking game. Notice today I'm playing a remake and then a remake. That's all there is anymore, chat. We've run out of video games. I'm sorry to say this, but every video game that could have been made has been made. Just and now we only have remakes left. Yeah, we'll we'll circle right back around to Dragon's Lair soon enough. Don't worry. This is goo. SpongeBob and Patrick can't swim, so don't let them fall into the goo. Oh, I was gonna say, are you sure this isn't just water at the bottom of the ocean? Remove water, remove water. We need, like, a new Muppet game. Like, a new good Muppet game where you get to play as Kermit. My favorite video game hero. Pretty chill game, though. Runs well, looks good. I mean, once I put it in full screen, it ran well. There's underwear. Oh. presents someone said the music is legit good well it's it's sponge music it accomplishes that it's definitely it sounds like connect four music for some reason I can't quite put my finger I can't quite connect the dots Good game. Connect 4, that is. Connect 4 is a good game. I mean, as a non-sponge aficionado, really what I would say is, um, if you're in the mood for a standard collectathon and you don't know sponge either, so far, it feels like it's fitting the bill. I mean, this is just the very beginning of the game, so I can't speak for the rest of it, but... You know, Collectathon's kind of disappeared for a while, and now, you know, Hat in Time, Super Lucky's Tale, a game I still haven't played. Uh, Ukulele? <laughs> well, hey, maybe the 3D Exploration Collectathon Ukulele didn't work out so great, but the other one worked out pretty well. Vinny, open clam. Okay. What was the other one? I think it was called The Impossible Layer. I streamed a bit of it. I streamed it like three or four times. It was good. It was Donkey Kong Country Returns. And it was like... non-poop. Even that, though, the other one, like, wasn't exactly poop. It was just, like, mediocre and kind of boring and not very, um, well put together. But I know people that really liked it. There were people that really enjoyed that game. The first ukulele. I just kind of got bored of it and stopped playing it, but... How do I get up there, chat? On these, these, uh, Schweenus plants. I guess I don't. All right. You killed the tiki's that you had to platform on. Well, I guess I'm not getting 100% in this one-time stream. Just my size. Won't you believe it? It's just my luck. Just a second. So, a new Bloodstain game was announced today. Bloodstain Curse of the Moon 2. Which, um, for those that don't know, 
or don't remember, Curse of the Moon was the Castlevania 3 NES type game oh, from Inti Creates. Oddly. And Iga presented a trailer for the second one with uh, Zangetsu and another character that has a spear and another character and a corgi in a magical mech. And it looks amazing. Someone said, I hate Castlevania 3, so no thanks. Man, what a shame. Your loss. The first one was so good. It actually fixed a lot of what I didn't like about Castlevania 3. But Curse of the Moon is really like a 9 out of 10 for me. Like, I love that fucking game. And the fact that we're getting a sequel, and Zangetsu's in it, and a Corgi's in it, I am so happy. But I'd say, you know, listen, give it a shot. You might... Curse of the Moon was good enough that even if you don't like Castlevania 3, you probably would get something out of it. It's just a really, really well-designed little um, platformer action game. Way more forgiving. Someone said, I liked Castlevania 64. Yeah, I guess I did too growing up. There's my unpopular opinion. Could never complete the clock tower, never finished the game, tried so many times. But... I kinda liked it. There is a good game underneath the crust. Somewhere. I love opening presents. Did you play the updated version? No. With Cornell the wolf and the dude in the, the knight outfit, the armor. Legacy, was it called? I feel like a new sponge. Boing. What? What's wrong, chat? He's uninterested. No, I'm un un uninterested in the chat right now. I'm, I'm, I'm playing the game. Ice? Freezy fruit. Only Patrick can you- oh. Very concentrated. Like orange juice right now, chat. I am extremely focused on being my best sponge. Uh oh. Is that the Half Life death noise? As long as these pants are square and this sponge is Bob, I will not let Bikini Bottom down. There we go. Nice crusty sock. Um, yeah, this is a, like a big time collectathon. There's collectibles fucking everywhere. Speaking of, Donkey Kong 64, someone patched it. I think I probably even mentioned this, but it was patched in a way that you don't need the barrels to change into different Kongs. Now, I remember I streamed a version of that. That was just, it frustrated me beyond belief. It didn't work. It was trash. Um, and I stopped playing it because it just, it was a bad, like, patch. Apparently there's a better one. And you literally press a button. One button. And you become Lanky Kong. Instantly. And it works very well. So that is cool. Uh, if I ever revisit Donkey Kong 64, I would try that. There may come a day. Not anytime soon, but there may come a day. Uh, also, hey, happy Gary, birthday, Mario 64. Who is Mario 64, you may ask? He is Mario's 64th ancestor, and it's his birthday. Wow! 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 A bungee 
bungee jump for a golden spatula. I must be in heaven. It shines. This is a bungee jump. SpongeBob can bungee from it. It's true, though. Oh, cool. Um, it is the Boing. anniversary of um, the N64 and of Mario 64. Nice, really nice visuals. Look at that. That looks fantastic. Man, graphics look really good now. We don't need any more console generations. We can just stop here. <laughs> it's Sonic 1's birthday, too? So wait, Mario and Sonic share a birthday? Well, Mario 64 and Sonic. Just my size. Today is Gamer Day. We need weird looking consoles. I have one. I have a SpongeBob console where you control his nose as the joystick. I still have it. It had the worst games ever. They were not the worst. I mean, hey, if you grew up with it, then you might like it. I streamed it a couple years ago for, like, Shovelware Showcase. No, wait, 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 wait. Plug and Plague. And I, I thought the games were pretty... were pretty bad. Maybe it's just because I had to play them using Sponge's nose. I love opening presents. Why do you have ham? Why does it say ham? Weird. Hammer. Oh, SpongeBob, you and your sense of humor, you're so good. The Walking Fish 3 is here. Ultra Kill. Unstoppable. Someone said that must be the longest stream title I've ever seen. Yeah, if I put that I was playing Red Alert, it would have been even longer. But yeah, this game is officially, let me see if I can remember it. SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated TM. Did I get it or did I miss something? SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated TM. I got it now. Featuring both. From DMC Poo. <coughs> That's he's from. That's like saying, um, Mario from Mario Teaches Typing. Oh, Hades got an update today. I won't be streaming it this week. I have a lot of games I'd like to stream this week, and that's not one of them. But, it's not going anywhere, and I will stream it. New boss. New weapon aspects. A lot of new shit. New boons. Fresh like a spring breeze. New story. Minecraft Nether update, which let's hold off on that one. That's not gonna happen because I streamed Minecraft last year, so I'd like to wait a little while. But 
Um, the, I will say, though, everything about that update, the nether finally looks amazing. So that's cool. And, uh, there's another thing. Oh, Hylix 2 has been highly requested. I just learned what Hylix, the word, meant, and I forgot. Alan Watts, in one of his lectures, was talking about that word. I don't remember. It's like... So something to do with, like, philosophy. God, you see how bad my fucking brain is? It's a gno uh, Gnostic thing. Oh, right, he was talking about Gnosticism. Right, 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 okay. Spongebob needs to know bubble bowling move in order to play this game. Isn't bubble bowling what got the game a 2 out of 10? The opposite of psychic. Alright, thanks. So, anyway, Hylix 2 looks amazing. I will, you know, I, I will definitely be streaming. I love Hylix 1, uh, but I just need some more time. I have um, some doubts about its current release. It needs... From what I understand, a little bit more work on its patches. And, uh, Robin is keeping an eye out and will let me know when it's, like, good and ready to stream. So that way, I can jump on it without any major issues. I'd rather stream the game with no issues than stream it early and then get frustrated. Specifically for this game. Who's Robin? Robin Hood. No, Akuma no Robin is a big Hylix fan, so... I'm just gonna be- you know what? Sure, let me know when. No problem. Vinny be going backwards? Oh yeah, a little bit. Wow. Good for me. Vinny just go through the level, but it's so easy to get distracted. It's so easy for the music to just overtake your brain. It is a pretty game. There's that too, but, uh, also, considering this is Mario 64's anniversary... ...and there have been rumors... ...of Mario 64... ...getting a remake this year, along with Sunshine, perhaps... ...wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't it be cool if they sold it for 20 bucks? Yeah, the rumored Mario collection. Here's my ideal... ...Mario collection. This is my ideal Switch game. $60. You get Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, and Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. All four games, remastered, and we call it Mario 3D All-Stars. That won't happen. That won't happen. Nintendo likes money too much. They, they don't like to give us good deals. But, man, that would be a great collection. You just met a sponginator. Nice impression, Tom Kenny. Of Arnold as Spongebob. Very good. How about $60 per game? Sold! Nintendo's like, yeah, best I can do is 60. Well, it's not just Nintendo. Did you see that Star Wars Episode One Racer came out today? Like, um, just a re-release? For $15? I mean, listen, Episode One Racer is a game I enjoyed as a kid. I don't know if it's still good. But it looks crusty, the UI is still shit. Like, it's just very... Like, crusty looking, because they didn't really do anything with it. It was a game. Someone said 15 is fine. I mean, how much were N64 games when they released on the Virtual Console on the Wii? So 15 is not that bad of a price compared to that. But for a game that's really not all that different, like they didn't do to it, they didn't do this to it. 
Steam page says ten dollars. Wait, really? Vinny, they put motion controls. Well, well, hang on a minute. So the Nintendo tax is fifteen bucks. Huh? What? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Another wrong voice imposter? Uh oh. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save the VA died. then uh. massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. Wait, 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 wait. Ernest Borgnine was the original voice of this character? Are you serious? What? Oh. By clipping my toenails? How did I not know? I, I never really watched Spongebob, I mentioned earlier. Um, Ernest Borgnine was uh, an actor who was in many films. He was in Escape from New York, which is a film I enjoy. These are the original voice lines. They didn't re-record them. They just didn't pull him in. Okay. Got it. So, anyway, episode one racer apparently does run at 60 frames a second and is 15 bucks on Switch and PS4. 10 on Steam. So, that's information I needed to furnish you with because I had incorrect informations. Yippee! A new sponge. Just my size. Fresh like a spring breeze. Yeah, I was, um, in terms of remakes, I was fucking shocked when Command and Conquer was 20 bucks. I love opening presents. That, to me, is insane, how much work they did, and it was still only $20. David Bowie also did a voice in Spongebob. Wh wh who did he play? Didn't he play a character in Venture Brothers, or was a character based on him in Klaus Numi? He was in a, a Spongebob movie. He played the Flying Dutchman. No, the King of Atlantis? Weird Atlantis Brain Man. Yeah, that works well for Bowie, I guess. Do you remember when David Byrne was on Space Ghost Coast to Coast? Maybe three of you do? I don't know. I feel like a new sponge! Bowie, the real person, wasn't in Venture Brothers, but they had, like, a pastiche of him, right. And Klaus Numi was also a character. Hi, Lime. Fresh, like a spring breeze. Oh, yeah, Iggy Pop, too, yeah. One Lime. It's just one Lime. Lime, did you check out the Hades update? Is it Nomi or Numi? I don't know. I thought I always thought it was Klaus Nomi. 
you were just playing it, it's super good. Yeah, I gotta check it out soon. I fucking love that game. I just haven't had a chance because I'm busy playing Babby games that chat bullied me into playing. Yeah. Hey, SpongeBob! <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Oh, thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robot and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. What are... Okay. What are you... What? Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. So, uh, someone said, how are you enjoying Xenoblade? I'm like 12 hours in, I'm really enjoying it. First time playing it. I know Lime enjoys the game, too. Lime, you streamed all of it yet, or are you still working through it? Because that's a game I am intimidated to stream. Still working through it. Game is long as heck. Yeah, I know. I know the side quests. I have to, like, stop myself from doing side quests because they're so... Many. All. Over the place. Carry a lot of stuff so I just do as many as I can, and then just move on. Ooh, a present everyone! Pretty! Patrick can also pick up and throw tiki's, but only tiki's that don't have other tiki stacked on top of them. Oh. A cool booty blast that Patrick has. This Kong has a funny face. Are these fish lads just here, just like for fun? They're just, just walking around. They just inhabit the world waiting for the bus, I guess. There's a bus stop. You may switch between SpongeBob or Patrick. Oh, Patrick. Oh, wait, wrong voice. That's Squidward. I don't know, man. Spatchnik. Spatchbob. There's uh, a lot of Ghostbusters videos being uploaded, lo <laughs> uploaded on the official Ghostbusters channel there. I guess they're trying to get people to remember the, uh, the good old days. Because it's just every day is almost like a new Ghostbusters video. They had Dan Aykroyd and, um, Irving, uh, what's his name? Oh god, what the hell is the director's name? Fucking hell. John Director. Ivan Reitman. I was gonna say Irvin Kirshner. He directed Empire Strikes Back. Wrong, wrong dude. But... Dan Aykroyd looks really good. Like, he did his hair, he's wearing a nice vest. He mentioned Crystal Vodka, like, once. And only once. When Patrick touches it, it will begin to storm. After a few seconds, we'll go boom. Also, I know someone is gonna be upset that I'm talking about other random shit while playing the SpongeBob game. But that's what kind of game this is. Just, um, it's just the nature of the beast. When I play platformers, I like to talk about random shit. I can occupy my brain more better that way. Okay. It's chill until you get to the last third of the game. Rock is talking to me. Oh, mighty Rock, I am at your command. Down here, you big pink lummox. Was the Rock ever in SpongeBob chat? Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. He was. 
Oh, okay. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. <laughs> At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knockoff wallets. Wow. Oh, thank you. So Patrick's a booger, right? Like I'm not really a SpongeBob guy, so so Patrick is like like snot under the sea. No, he's a starfish. I I am aware of that. Also, man, look at the lighting. That is the most realistic, like fleshy substance I've seen in a video game. Wow. Oh, don't do that. That's weird, Patrick. Stop that. <laughs> I pushed the big tiny button. Red Dead Redemption 2? What do you mean? You think that looks better than this? Are you kidding me? Look at this. Look at these graphics right here. <laughs> how could how could anything Red Dead 2 be better than this scene right here, right now? Almost dead. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Wait, it's SpongeBob's underwear? Mm. Yeah, but I mean, they look realistic. You know, for cartoon Ooh, characters, they look so good. Presence. Like you could smell the the pants, the square pants. It's really quite astounding. That's much better. Vinny, there are so many words in the English language, and you had to string those ones together specifically. Well, yeah. What did you want me to say? Taste? Alright, so the graphics are so good, you could taste the pants. Please. It's like in the 40s and 50s, they thought that the next big thing in theatre would be to, um, you know, have like smell-o-vision or like, um, interactive smelling experiences. It actually kind of, like, happened. There was like a booth at one point that had like 10 different smells. And it was mostly, I think, um, Defunct Land talked about it during the Coney Island episode. What is it with? Where... It was like, you're on a motorcycle, and there's, like, you know, it's a video, and it looks like you're on a motorcycle, and you just smell, like, asphalt, and, like, gasoline. And I'm sure that was real healthy for everyone involved. I think it was Coney Island, which would explain a lot of Coney Island's general demeanor. But, yeah, I don't know for sure. Like Spy Kids 4. Experimental smell devices for VR. Apparently there's a taste device that you can taste almost anything. And it's like there's some strange electrodes or something at the end of it. And, like... But that doesn't work unless you also have, um... Smells. Like, you can taste, you know, sweetness and bitterness and all that stuff and saltiness, but... If you want to get the full experience, you also need smells. Your nose is a big part of taste. 
So that just doesn't... I don't know what that means. I don't like it. It's only to smells. I don't like it. Patrick can also jump on throw fruit to get to higher places. And you can stack them. Oh. Well, well, this doesn't really smell, does it? Like, because it's underwater. So, if you had the smell device, or the taste device, maybe it would just be like, like salt water. Slowly descending into madness. No, it's no- oh, this is normal for me. It has nothing to do with hearing this music over and over again. Totally normal. Ouch. One thing SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Ouch. Oh. Whoa. Super powered ice arrows from Majora's Mask. Oh, goody, another one. Thirty-five-year-old adult man-child, by the way. Remember to get the fuck away from those things. Oof. Oh hey, no, they bar fish. Fuck at the fish. But Vinny, but are you having fun? I, yeah, I'm mildly having fun. I, I do think this is skewed towards a younger audience. I don't know what gave it away, either the sponge or the bob. But it's... Ouch. It's pretty good, even for the types of games I like. It's- it's pretty- you know, if I liked Spongebob as much as some people, I would probably really like this. It's not a 2 out of 10. What the fuck is that score? Jesus. Could you imagine this being a 2 out of 10? What the fuck universe do you have to live in? It looks nice, it's playable, there's plenty of things to do. The gameplay is fine. If you're a fan of the property, it's even better. Nah, game sucks. So I'm supposed to stun them? Okay, I, the thing is, though, I, I end up killing them and not stunning them. Oh, okay. Wait, is a whistle. Yes, stand 
there and get exploded, yeah! Stand in the place oh, where there. you are. Squidward Don't tells me move you're an inch. For the king jellyfish. Yes. Wow, that was a very up close and personal line delivery from Patrick. Good thing too. That monster has been yes. stealing all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs, I'll see what I can do. Imitation crabs has arrived. Is that tartar sauce? Yeah. So there's more than one song in this game, right? I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Oh. Yeah, Patrick is strong. The glee on Patrick's face as he sodomizes a fish. What does this have to do with sodomization? It's no, it's just it's a belly blast. Chat member, what the fuck? That's much better. Oh, Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff. <laughs> Everyone. I think I was supposed to use those uh, to throw them. Yeah, undoubtedly, that is what I needed to do. Patrick can't tiptoe. Because Patrick is like a bull in a china shop, I guess. Snake. Apparently, this voice actress is the same as the boss from Metal Gear Solid 3. Tell me you haven't been driving. Of course not, Mrs. Puff. I don't even have a license. So that's pretty oh, cool. Good. Then it was just another bad dream. Look, okay, there's grass. Well, there's seaweed. There's stealth sponge. And there's the boss. Welcome to the end of Metal Gear Solid 3. I feel like a new sponge. Hammer, I get it. It's Pearl that's the boss. Not Mrs. Puff. Oh, like bold chat. Sponge. Bold face lied to me.
Wow, why do these uh, tiki's have such good vision? Hearing. Well, yeah, no, their hearing is... Like, they can hear everything but a tippy-toe, but then they see Sponge on top of them, and they're just like, this is fine. Fresh like a spring breeze. Yeah, his name is Sponge. Does people in the show call him by his first name? Sponge? Or do they always say Sponge and then last name Bob? Uh, hey, Sponge! Uh, do you want to go to Krabby Crack? Now, Sponge... Uh... We're gonna go to Krabby Crack. Feel like a new Sponge! Welcome to me, Shop Sponge, uh, the Krabby Crock, and... Dream, I need you to split into five guys. You think you can do that for me? Fresh like a spring breeze. His last name is Squarepants? I thought that was a title. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The warp core is stable, sir. Yes, sir. We'll be transporting you down to Sponge Prime in just a moment, sir. Vinny, it's literally in the title. Right, it's a t it's a title. He earned Square Pants as a title from being so square in high school and then going to work at a, a burger place. Does Sponge ever get a better job in the show? Like, does he end up like getting like a business job? No, he became the mayor for a brief time. Oh, that's cool. Feel like a new sponge. In one episode, but he hates it. So he loves his job as being a uh, burger man. Oh, good for him. Well, he knows what makes him happy. And he lives a quaint life. Good for him. Fresh like a spring breeze. Probably should be Patrick here. Vinny, that's literally the point of the show. So remember, kids, settle for your burger flip job. That is where it's at. Don't aspire to anything more. Are you ready, kids? I can't hear you! Who's ready for minimum wage under the sea? Jesus. I feel like a new sponge. Crabs pays less than minimum wage? Oh. That son of a bitch. Sponge doesn't deserve this. Fires to little, don't make a big deal. SpongeBob SquarePants! Who can barely afford his rent and a meal? I feel like a new sponge. It's this music. He 
Someone said, I don't like this bit anymore. Listen, I'm just trying to analyze the show because I've never seen the show and I'm trying to understand what's happening. What's the message? What's it trying to teach? You know? I needed to ask the questions so that I may understand the show. That's all. Listen, if you told me Ren and Stimpy was the stupidest show on the planet, my favorite show growing up was absolute dog shit garbage that taught nothing, you'd be right. I don't mind. I don't let the things I like get so wrapped up in my, you know, soul that I, I can't hear someone shit talk Ren and Stimpy, that's fine. The point is that it's funny. I think it's more insidious than that. I think it's teaching. <laughs> All right, never mind. No, it's just a dumb, funny joke show. I know. I'm just. I'm trying to make, you know, commentary, streamer commentary, because that's what I do, and I'm just trying to understand SpongeBob and also make the make the funny. That's all. Does he eat- what does he do with mushrooms? Does he- do they put mushrooms on the sponge burgers? Boy, That's what they're called, right? Bag. Sponge burgers? <laughs> Krabby Patties, right, right, right. So who is Krabby Patty? Is she just like a really angry... Like Patty Mayonnaise from Doug, but just angrier? <laughs> Vinny, this bit isn't funny. Uh-oh, looks like we found the Spongebob fan in chat. Like a new sponge. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna get hired one day by the sponge company, and they're gonna get me to do the voices. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to write some good scripts about SpongeBob finding like a better job and having a family, and you know, I'm gonna ruin everything that people hold sacred about SpongeBob. He'll learn that Squidward is actually a mean person, and he'll stop being friends with him. Um, he'll, like... Vinny, too late? What do you mean, too late? What, what do you mean? They already did that? Oh. SpongeBob is the asshole? Spongebob had a family with Patrick? <laughs> so wait a minute. What was the David Hasselhoff coming out of the water? Like a dolphin. What was that? Did I miss something? That was the first movie? Oh, okay. And how many Spongebob movies are there? Three. Did I miss a clam? Chat was saying get the clam, but I don't see it. Soon to be three. Oh, there's a new one on the way out. Okay. I got it. Okay. Guess I didn't get it. Chat saying I missed it still. What? Look down, I'm looking. You missed a spatula a while back, too. Jesus. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I just don't care. This is a one-time. This is a one-off. It's fine. I just have to, like, really curb this desire to get everything in games like this. Love opening presents.
SpongeBob can jump up walls where the symbol appears. Oh. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Chat wants me to play new music. All right. All right. Well, thank God for that. Here we go. I got some good music. a little too well. Fish dabbed? Oh, that's cool. Today. Step quietly there. That king jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck. You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. Stop. I think the fish is working out. Fuck. Two out of ten. Fresh like a spring breeze. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. uh ah! I feel like a new sponge. Well, oh, even the boss is singing the song now. I knew the King Jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? <laughs> I have done well. I, I will slap. Oh, it's giving birth. And, like, it has pain from the birth giving. That's, ah. Uh... Thank you. 
Biz, 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 that actor who was in uh, like Independence Day. Firestein? Was it? <laughs> Buzz off, uh. Oh, no, 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 no. It's um, Taffy Lewis from Blade Runner. Buzz off, uh. Harvey Firestein. Yeah, it sounded like him. Very good. Well, now I have the jellyfish juice. I don't know what to do with it, but... I'm sure Patrick will find something to do with it. Vinny box. I saw a box earlier. I don't know where it is now. And we'll just go this way. That's fine. It's the, um... Final Fantasy VII... Mountain. Snowboarding time. Is that a tongue? Too pretty. Can't take it. I love opening presents. Totally normal things. And this here SpongeBob game, normal things. Missed the spatula, go back. I, I don't think I opened the previous box. You can respawn by dying? Cool. Go SpongeBob! Go SpongeBob! Go SpongeBob! Where did the- oh, the box went over- oh, okay. There we go. No, let me no, no! I thought I saw the spatula over there. The spatula's at the end. Okay. I was like, oh, is that an alternate path? Nope. I see that. Yeah, there it is. Wow! There is an alternate path, but you just didn't take it. Okay. Alternate. Why is there a buff crawdad? See, no problem. You can do anything you set your mind and your muscle to. Larry the Lobster? It's not a crawdad? All right, well, now I'm disappointed. Did I win? Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Uh, what if I just gave you this? I mean, that's cool, Squidward, but could I, um, let SpongeBob rub the jelly on you. Come on, do it. No balls.
You're right, I don't have any. So hang on a minute. That was just one area? And all of the... Wow, this is a pretty big game, huh? Yes, and it's not done. It's like a 15-hour game. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Well, hey, push, you know... Push, 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 if, if it's something that you, you can handle for 15 hours or so, you know, 15 hours of spang, I say, you know, have fun. Fifteen hour spang stream. No, I'm good. What are you waiting for, SpongeBob? Show those robots who's boss. Me. Why is everyone mean? Vinny, check out the city, please. Okay. Downtown Bikini Bottom, once a bustling metropolis, now a debris-covered crater. Crater. SpongeBob, the robots are destroying Downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate. All right, but it's going to take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum, evacuate. We have to get everyone to safety. Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? Because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? No, there are too many turns. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Puff, I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always <sighs> fear. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. A golden. A golden. How about a driver's license instead? Nice try. What the fuck was that? Watch SpongeBob. Oh, when SpongeBob touches this ball, he will change into a sponge ball. You can roll quickly as Spongeball, but you cannot do anything else. Oh. Watch Spongebob turn into Spongeball. It seems silly in this, and yet we don't even question it when Samus turns into a Morph Ball. No problem. thinks it's a cat. Somehow I don't think he needs a hand. It shines. Vinny, he is a cat? Is that... Uh, are, is everyone in on the joke except me? Worms are dogs, and snails are cats in this universe. Alright, cool. And above the sea, are there real people like David Hasselhoff? I love opening presents. So it's the real world. Is it wacky up there too? No, it's not wacky. Alright. So this is in the same universe as, say, I don't know, the movie Heat, starring Robert De Niro, Val Kilmer, Al Pacino, correct? Cool. 
that's entirely possible. Well, there you go. I feel like a new sponge. What is this garbage? Oh, it's volcano sauce. Fresh like a spring breeze. Wait, wait, bikini bottom is bikini atoll, where they tested nukes, the the a bomb. Is that a real theory? Oh my god, it makes way too much sense. That's not, like, it's confirmed. Like How did they confirm it? What the fuck? <laughs> Hillenberg <clears throat> confirmed it. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Somehow I don't think he needs a hand. Fresh like a spring breeze. Stop hitting the red ones. I, I keep thinking that if I hit them from far enough away, I can make them explode and not take damage. And I'm wrong every time. Do you want to know the definition of insanity? You can just touch them. Oh, okay. Dean Ween writes all the music for this show. Alright, what? Wait, 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 wait. One of the dudes from the band Ween. I believe it was Dean Ween who was at my first show with Redbox as we played at John and Peter's, which was the Ween like bar slash venue. So there's um, a little bit of thing. Huh? How about that history? Feel like a new sponge. Oh, that's right, because everyone knows Ocean Man from the Mollusk Please album. You. Hi. Needs to do laundry. Ocean Man. The Mollusk was a direct inspiration for SpongeBob. Well, my mind is just being blown continuously while streaming this game. It's a great album. Fantastic album. Did you know that the Flaming Lips did a Spongebob song? I didn't, but that doesn't surprise me. Steven Hillenberg was a marine biologist. Didn't know that. Doesn't surprise me. You've just met the Spongeinator. Pantera wrote an episode. A song. Oh, a song! Did you know that Michael Imperioli wrote episodes of The Sopranos? You know, who plays Christopher? Christopher! And he also, true story, wrote episodes of Spongebob. That I made up. And yet, you're gonna tell me that the Beach Boys never once wrote a Spongebob song? Mike Love wouldn't do it. Blame Mike Love? Wait, whoa, 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 is this real? Mike Love would never. Cause you're... You're not surprising me if you're telling me that Mike Love was, was like... Brian Wilson did work on some a bunch of SpongeBob songs. What the fuck? What the fuck? Sometimes pushing a simple button is, is the there most anything satisfying. not connected push, to SpongeBob? Push, push, push. I feel like a new sponge. Next, you're gonna tell me Hunter S. Thompson wrote the outline for the SpongeBob movies back in 1969.
This is sponge country. Good. Fuck that thing. Yeah, we talked about the Bowie cameo already. Pat Morita voiced a character. That was uh, the dude from the Karate Kid. Yeah. Did Mark Hamill ever do a voice on SpongeBob, considering he's a prolific voice actor? Yes, he did. Ball. And I'm not surprised once again. Fresh like a spring breeze. Bringing it around town. Bringing it around town. Well, that's enough, um, that's enough Spongebob lore for one evening. Jonathan Depp was also in an episode. Bring it up around town. It's weird because Johnny Depp lately in his movies doesn't have a lot of depth. And yet his name would imply otherwise if, if you don't speak town. English very well. Bring it up around town. It was a stretch. I tried, chat. I tried to I love opening presents. Is that normal? Is that is that is that normal? That's normal, right? Did Damon Albarn have anything to do with Spongebob at any point? That's my last Spongebob question. People are saying yes, and I think they're just saying that as a joke at this point. Bringing it around town. We know Spongebob. We know. I don't think he needs a hand. Take that! Hallelujah Money had SpongeBob in the music video. Well, there you go. That's a connection. But then you can get to plenty of tenuous connections like that, and then everything in the world is connected to both Kevin Bacon and SpongeBob, if you try hard enough. If, even if you don't try that hard. This door is locked from the inside. Who would do such a thing? Someone said in chat, it's easy to forget hallelujah money. You know, after five years or so of gorillas being gone, like six years, five years, that video did nothing for me. I did not... I did not understand why that was the first release. I, you know, liked a couple songs off Humans, but I just felt like there was uh, probably... For pe I get why Damon did it. Like, it's not that I don't understand the reasoning behind it, it's more an issue of... 
if fans are like, oh shit, it's a comeback from Gorillaz, oh god, it's new music. There were other songs on Humans that would have done a better job conveying, you know, what that album was about. Someone said Humans was good. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it has good songs on it. I really, really like a lot of stuff. Charger, She's My Collar. You know, we've talked about this plenty of times. I've mentioned that album so many times. I feel like if you take the Now Now and the Best of Humans... The Best of the Now Now, the Best of Humans... You have a great Gorillaz album, but the song styles are too disparate that it almost doesn't work. Because they both kind of have their own thing going on. Vinny, do you like Nirvana? Uh, I only like AI-generated Nirvana songs. Where it sounds like the ghost of Kurt Cobain is in anguish. Over his spirit being summoned back into this hellhole. To sing someone else's lyrics. Yeah, that's the only Nirvana I like, sorry. Did you see that his distortion pedal sold for 9k? Or you can just go to Sam Ash and buy a grunge distortion pedal for like 50 bucks, 40 bucks, and achieve the same effect. That's a lot of money. Well, his guitar went for 6 million. It didn't have his sweat. Yeah, I know. I guess so. I do have uh, an autograph. I have a picture that was autographed by Kurt, and I like it. I guess part of me, when I look at it, I'm like, oh, he, he touched that. That's, that's nice. Ah, there you are, boy. Someone's broken the sea needle. It was a gift. I got it years, like, ten years ago. I don't. I have no idea how much that thing cost. That's horrible. The Sea Needle is the cradle of Crochet Corner. Yes, yes it is. But what's more important is that there are tiki's and shiny objects just outside the windows. Yes, yes it is. But what's more important is that there are tiki's and... Yeah, I don't know. I actually don't know the voice well enough to do a good one. Mr. Krabs, how can you think of money at a time like this? Easy. I just clear my mind. Money. Money. Money! Now listen here, boy. You know that I'll give you golden spatulas if you bring me shiny objects. But I'm going to sweeten the deal. If you can break all the tiki's here at the Sea Needle, I'll give you a bonus golden spatula. Why would I want to break the tiki's, Mr. Krabs? Uh, because they were laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? Um, you know. Spongebob... butt pants. <laughs> That's not very funny. Uh, no. But they said your mom was ugly. Ugly? All right, Mr. Krabs. Break to my shell. You've got a deal. Yet again, imitation crabs taking advantage of poor Spongebob. A mere... A mere lad. And that's when, you see, this is the cycle. Mr. Krabs takes out his aggression of his unfulfilled life on Spongebob, and then Spongebob beats the shit out of random walking fish. This is the cycle of violence. Wow! Everyone looks like ant fish from up here. The ultimate wedgie experience! Missing sound effects here, I believe. Whee! Boy, I... Whee! 
I'll get it eventually. That wasn't eventually. Like, uh, what's his name? Tevin, Tevin Paula. The song Eventually. That's a cool song. Boing. Ah! Got it. I was just having so much fun, I didn't want the segment to end. I listen to more Art of the Score podcasts. Uh, Indiana Jones. It's good. That's all. That is all. I recommend. <laughs> oh my god. Vinny, are you even enjoying this? Uh, it's some of it. I, I don't think that this is the messiah of gaming. Um, I had, uh, I had some people say that this was, like, the best game and I, I need to play it. And, and you know what? It's fine. If I was a SpongeBob fan and I had this as a kid, I would have liked it just fine. But, um, rose-tinted glasses are definitely a thing. And I have them for plenty of games. Vinny, this is a bad version. How much different is the original to this? Let's be honest. How much... Like, improved is the... Like, you know what I mean? This is a bad version? Are we sure this isn't just the game? None other than the graphics? I said it before, the game is good. I think it's a good game. It is nowhere near a 2 out of 10. It's like not Mario Sunshine. So I don't think he needs a hand. But it's fine. It's fun. It's a little uh, sponge game with platforming and some good levels. And if you like SpongeBob, you will like smash this game. All the I have to smash all of them. Okay, I got all of them here. Sunshine is amazing, but not as good as people claim. I think it's one of the most fun platformers. That's a chat member's thing that... Uh, some, I didn't say that. That was a chat member thing. There is something about Sunshine... I think... What the fuck? I think it's Flood. What the fuck? I'm gonna go ahead and say it's just the way the game feels and Flood itself, for me, leads to one of my favorite platformers to play. Boing. Just the movement is good. The, the game engine, I just, I love it. There was some stuff in that game that wasn't amazing. Like, I wouldn't say it's a perfect game. It's just a, the most fun, uh, platformer. Vinny Blind? Did I get all the boxes from Mr. Cra Crate? Guess not. It respawns when you die? Oh. Everyone looks like ant fish from up here. Good work, boy. Here's the golden spatula, like I promised. Ah! 
someone was wanting to get my agreement on the fact that the last level, the first part of the last level of Mario Sunshine sucks. Yes. Listen, even though when I streamed Sunshine, I did the pachinko machine first try, it still sucks. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. A little bit of a brag there, but that's okay. Vin, you're done here. Um, yeah, it looks like it. I'm also done streaming this. There's really nothing here that's like blowing me away. Other than it's a good licensed game. I feel like a new sponge. It's chill. This game has a very active speedrunning community. I didn't know that. Someone said go do one more th go do the thing before you leave. Wait, what thing? I'm rollerific. Hi, Gary. Meow. Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. Meow. Not done. Doesn't that mean? Meow. Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops, which, aha, uh -huh, there's another golden spatula. I could really use that. Meow. What do you mean, get Sandy to help me? Meow. Oh, that, okay. How is that? Uh-oh. Holy, d okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so now I guess this is where you can play as Sandy. So there's multiple playable characters. That's cool. Again, two hours in, I can't make a full judgment. I don't, you know, I don't have the ability to do so because I've only played, um, a little bit. Oh, here's Sandy. Someone said a speedrunner, like the speedrunner community, speedrunning community for this game was brought in to help with development. It's kind of cool. Oh, Leon, help! I forgot, yeah, same voice actress, yeah. The speed run for Rehydrated is now three minutes. What? Oh, Texas. Uh, what do you mean three minutes? Can I... Can I watch that real quick? The shinier, the better. They found a warp. Okay. Do a speed run yourself? No, I'm good. <laughs> Vinny, you went backwards. It's all right. I'm good. I'm good. Again, the game is fine. It's not a 2 out of 10. It's a very, very playable game. It seems to be a good remake. You know, it's not something I would play all of, but I liked what I played, even if it felt a little bit... At times, I was like, oh, okay, I guess I'm just doing this over and over and over again. But, you know, a lot of platformers are like that. So, solid 3D platformer. People that like Spongebob are going to get way more out of it. And people that grew up with this game and Spongebob are ob also obviously going to get a lot out of it. But, I understand people's enthusiasm for it. I think I get it. Let's take a look at a quick three-minute Spongebob, Spongebob speedrun, which is his brother. Which one should I do? There was one uploaded two hours ago. Huh. Alright, Nary's got it. 
I'm going. This is the one I just saw, yeah. So this one's from Shift. And I don't know, I'm not familiar with Shift's work, but if you want to check him out, he's on Twitch at Shift. So let's take a look at his uh, his speed run. I, I still haven't gotten a good run, though, so it's like, yeah. Hello, Shift. I don't get it. Did I miss the thing? Okay, hang on a minute. So, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, what? Yeah, Gary. Okay, so game starts. You press the button. You, you do a thing. You do another thing, and then you take a taxi to Bikini Bottom. <laughs> what is this? Uh, it's like resetting, honestly. I'm not skipping anything. Frame perfect button input on the map that lets you warp anywhere. Did they keep it in the remake? This is the remake. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. And yeah, this is the final boss. Okay. This was never in the original game. This is only the other way. I'll find a way though. This was only in the glitch wasn't the warp wasn't in the game. The boss was. Oh. Oh. All right. Well, listen. We saw it. It's fine. All right. I'm still fascinated by any speed run that can be done in a couple minutes, like you know Mario. But anyway, I'm good. I don't really want. I don't need to watch the rest. Vinny, it's not over. Yeah, I mean you can watch it if you want. I don't want to spoil the game for myself. <laughs> it's fine. Stick around, everybody. We're going to take a couple minute break. I'll be back with Command and Conquer. I have the attention span of a sponge that lives under the sea. Be right back.